Good morning. This is White Raptor News Ministries. Um, I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. I know you've joined my channel because of shorts. If you even watch any of this, the channel's not what you think it is. Okay, I'm a truth channel. I expose all types of truths. I expose corruption in the police departments, in politics. I expose and talk about the shape of our earth, the moon landings. I talk about the pineal gland, the biology. I talk about this reality, the illusion and life that we live. So I have a lot of deep theology and concepts to this reality that we live in that is uh, at a different understanding, a different theology than the normal theology that we've been taught in the Bible all of our lives. Okay, I chose to start reading this Bible from start to finish because mostly I was tired of people saying you have to read the whole Bible to understand what's going on. This prevents people from being able to say you got to read the whole Bible. So I've taken on this uh, lesson this um, work for the spirit um, because I've taken a download and I wish to share with people the understanding of this reality, this 666 reality that we live in. So uh, with that said, I will be sharing a lot of different content and over the course of there's uh, there's 1,000, there's 35, 1,035 chapters in the Bible. We have 613 laws of Yahweh and then you get the New Testament and then the New Testament writings you have another 1,050 uh, laws of Jesus. Okay, so here clearly you have two different gods. One, one god is Yahweh, the other god is Jesus, two different gods. Now, neither one of these gods, Yahweh or Jesus, do I serve. I simply serve the Supreme Spirit, the omnipotent force that moves all things in place. I am a creation of the Spirit. You are a creation of the Spirit. And I need people to understand that your soul has been encapsulated, trapped inside of a flesh suit, and placed underneath of the vault which keeps things in. Our souls cannot escape this plane of existence. The only way to escape this plane of existence and to transcend to a higher level of understanding is to repent to the supreme spirit the omnipotent force that moves all things in place and do the best you can to turn from your sins we are all sinners and uh just uh listen to the message i hope you enjoy it i know that these bible lessons mostly aren't too thrilling they're kind of a lot of the chapters are boring but we must read the entire bible to decipher and line, align the parables between the old and the new testament so we're here at numbers 24 let us begin all praise and glory to the mighty uh most high creator the supreme spirit now, when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he did not resort to divination at all, as others resort to divination as at other times, but turned his face towards the wilderness. When Balaam looked out and saw Israel encamped tribes, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came on him, and he spoke his message. The prophecy of Balaam, son of Boar, the prophecy of one whose eyes see clearly, the prophecy of one who hears the word of God, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who falls prostrate, and whose eyes are opened. Remember, eyes are, in this case here, eyes. If you're seeing the world through eyes open your eyes then you're not getting the whole story okay if thy eye be single i believe it's mark or matthew 6 22 i think it is 
Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 Bible Hub. See, people don't understand that in 622 here, the eye, notice this is singular. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes, now we've went from a singular eye to plural eyes. So the eye here is a spiritual eye. It is the lamp of the body. Well, what's a lamp? It's the light. The eye is the light, light of the body. Okay, if your eyes are good, the eyes, your two eyes on your forehead, the physical eyes are good. Your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? So here you have light and darkness. Now everybody on my channel here knows that darkness equals wickedness. Okay? It's ignorance. Okay? Okay? How beautiful are your tents, Jacob, your dwelling places, Israel. Like valleys they spread out, like gardens beside a river, like olas planted by the Lord, like cedars beside the waters. Water will flow from their buckets, their seed will have abundant water, their king will be greater than Agag, their kingdom will be exalted. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. They devour hostile nations and break their bones in pieces. With their arrows, they pierce them. Like a lion, they crouch and lie down. Like a lioness who dares to rouse them. May those who bless you be blessed and those who curse you be cursed. Now remember, they, uh, they said that in the last chapter as well. So remember that uh, Balaam was wanting to, uh, when they were speaking between Balaam and Black, the two wanted, the one wanted uh, Israel, uh, wanted the king to curse Israel, and he refused to do so. Then Balak angered, burned against Balaam. He struck his hands together and said to him, I summoned you to curse my enemies, but you have blessed them these three times so this is why Balak is all angry remember may those who bless you be blessed and those who curse you be cursed also this is in uh genesis 12 3 genesis 12 3 bible hub okay i will bless those who those i will bless those those who bless you i will bless those gentile who bless you and I will curse those Gentile who curse you. And all the families, both Gentile and Hebrew, on the earth will be blessed through you. So, give me one second. So it's the same right here. May those who bless you be blessed. May those Gentile who bless you be blessed. And those who curse those Gentile who curse you be blessed cursed see satan has pulled the wool over our eyes and made us all think that we're all one human race we're not one human race folks we're two races of people two races one race was created on the sixth day which has everything to do with revelations 13 18 and then another race was created on well we don't know when the other race was created we can only say according to the bible that the second race was been been here only about six or seven thousand years. <clears throat> However, the evolution of the Gentile have been here probably since what the beginning, right? And who's the beginning? Jesus is the beginning. Then Balak's anger burned against Balaam. He struck his hand together and said to him, "I summoned you to curse my enemies, but you have blessed them." these three times now leave at once and go home i said i would reward you handsomely but the lord has kept you from being rewarded in this case here who the lord him himself okay balak is considering himself a lord just because 
this is what it means, Lord of Lords, okay? There's a lot of titles on this face of this plane of existence where people are calling themselves lords. People's wives have them calling their their husbands lord and stuff, okay? I would never submit to my wife allowing her to call me lord. I am not a lord. I am simply a creation of God to his glory and used for his glory. Balaam answered Balak, Did I not tell the messenger you sent me? Even if Balak gave me all the silver and gold in his palace, I could not do anything of my own accord, good or bad, to go beyond the command of the Lord. And I must say only what the Lord says. Now I am going back to my people, but come, let me warn you of what this people will do to your people in the days to come. Balaam's fourth message. Then he spoke this his message. The prophecy of Balaam, son of Beor, the prophecy of one whose eyes see clearly, the prophecy of one who hears the words of God, who has acknowledged from the Most High, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who falls prostrate and whose eyes are opened, whose eye is opened. I see him, but now no, but not now. I behold him. But not near, I stare, I, a star will come out of Jacob, a scepter will rise out of Israel. He will crush the foreheads of Moab, the skulls of the people of Sheth. Edom will be conquered, Seir, his enemy, will be conquered. But Israel will grow strong, a ruler will come out of Jacob and destroy the survivors of the city. Well, hold on for one second, guys. So here we're coming off the ark. This is just three chapters. You know, you went through Noah's ark and everything. Uh, all the animals are being left off. And, and then the Lord here again, God is giving commandments. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man's his blood will be shed. For his own image, God has made mankind. Mankind are not humans. Even though it says it's a human being, it's kind of a human being. Okay? This man created in an image. An image is a likeness. Look, it's an illusion, folks. This is the most crucial thing to understand in White Raptor News' lessons. Okay? An image is to shade a phantom. It's an illusion. And if you understand this, if you can clearly get this, this is what it means when it pops over to 612 of Ephesians, which tells us it's not about the flesh and blood. Okay? It's an illusion. It's a resemblance, hence a representative figure, especially an idol. This image is, for in his own image, an idol, God made mankind. This God is Elohim. Asha. Oh boy, let's see. Give me a second here. Um, see, what I'm teaching folks, and, and this is a learning process for me as well. I don't know everything about the Bible. I've read the Bible. I know... I When I read the Bible then, when I was in jail, I didn't understand what I was reading. And today, I have a broader understanding and insight of what's being shared because I've taken a download from something that was outside of myself. Okay? Okay, whoever sheds the blood of man, by man his blood will be shed. So, this is... The covenant of the rainbow, this is coming off of the the ark, and God is telling that Noah and his family, look, there's only eight members here right now, man. You're not to kill anybody, okay? Why, if these were righteous men and women that were on the ark, why would, and the spirit, the true God, chose these this family these people because they are all righteous why would he even have to tell them he just wiped everything off the face of the earth that was evil clearly he saved noah and his family 
He brought them on board this ark to save the animals and all of this, right? So for me, I'm sorry, it just don't make sense to which God it is that's saying that he's going to allow the children of Israel to destroy the nations. Now, I understand the evil that the evil needs to be destroyed. This is what God meant when he said that you're to uh, to kill the Gentile. And also he kills the firstborn himself. So uh, this is kind of uh, an odd, an oddity to me. Don't kill because if you kill, then you're going to be killed too. You, you'll be killed by the sword. If you kill people by the sword, then you're going to be killed by the sword. You shed man's blood by your own hands, then by your own hands, another man will shed your blood. That's what it's saying. So I'm kind of a little bit disturbed that this God is giving um, Israel the okay to destroy the nations when the Supreme Spirit was given commands for the Israel to stay out of the cities of the nations. This is why Israel's under punishment because these 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go onto the roads of the Gentile. Well, what are the Gentile? They're the foreign ones. Who are the foreign ones? Right here, folks. These are the foreign ones. It's all the United Nations. They are the foreign nations. This is the world map on the back of the wall. Why do you suppose that they have this map here on the back of the United Nations wall? What do you suppose this is right here? This is a flat earth map right in front of your face on the back of the United Nations wall. Okay? These are your United Nations. General Assembly of the United Nations, right? Well, that's what it used to say. Now it's the United Nations Ministry because now we have fallen underneath of a one world order. Damn near everybody on this plane of existence is worshiping Jesus as Lord and Savior. Okay. Balaam's fifth message. Then Balaam saw Amalek and spoke his message. Amalek was first among the nations, but their end will be utter destruction. Balaam's sixth message. Then he saw the Kenites and spoke his message. Your dwelling place is secure. Your nest is set in a rock. Yet you Kenites will be destroyed when Asher takes you captive. So something is being taken captive. This is anything taken in the captive is slavery. I do not condone any kind of slavery at all. Because the God of this world is not the supreme creator. It was something that was permitted to create this reality construct, which is an illusion. I just showed you this reality is an illusion. Balaam's seventh message. Then he spoke his message. Alas, who can, leave, who can live when God does this? Ships will come from the shores of Cyprus. They will subdue Asher and Eber. But they too will come to ruin. Then Balaam got up and returned home. And Balak went to his own way. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. This is White Raptor News Ministries.